between every inhale and every exhale, God, you are always there, whispering softly in my heart how much you love me and how much you care. Thank you for the host of angels you've placed on my path to guide me on this wondrous journey, especially the angel I am blessed to call mom. Thank you, mom, for nurturing this awesome gift of creativity. In my darkest hour and in my brightest moment, Father, it is your light and amazing grace that has always been there lifting me to glory and elevating me humbly to a higher place. Thank you for your blessings that fill my hungry soul. I shall always love, trust, and praise thee. Thank you for this life and its challenges where your promise and divine plan is the only 100% guarantee. Thank you for everything that you do and all that I am and who I shall continually grow to be. Thank you for when I was searching for me, I found you, your son and comforter, loving me unconditionally. Thank you for blessing me with a calling that never wavers or falters, come storm, rain, snow, or sleet. Thank you for blessing me coming and going and instilling in me whatsoever I soweth, I shall also reap. Thank you for giving me the power to keep moving while facing many of life's trials and tribulations. For it's in the midst of the storm that my spirit is tested and my faith prevails with affirmation. Thank you for my elementary school teacher, Miss Ida B. Holzer, who introduced me to math and art. Because when I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, my singing career was just about to start. I felt the spark. But the doctor vehemently stressed to me if I ever wanted to sing again, I must not sing for six months to a year. So after 25 years, I picked back up that paintbrush to appease my creative soul and felt the presence of an angel near. Mom told me in silence I would find my voice again and Aunt Maggie prayed for me incessantly. Over a year, I painted and prayed and cried in silence as you anointed my voice, poetry and art. Now I'm rolling three deep. Thank you, Father, for all my siblings, friends, cousins, uncles, aunts, nephews, and nieces. Thank you for blessing me with the best parents in the world, Mom and Big James, my angels. I love you to pieces. Thank you for Beverly and Mark who took me in when I truly needed help, dealing with all of my sickness and pain. Thank you for the heart of a bull and exterior of a flower. I'm fearless like two of your own, Little James and Big James. Thank you for Dr. Jan Bennett, who when mom died told me to go sing, but I didn't want to. He did it out of love. Thank you for mom, a creative genius, poet, and singer in her own right. I know she's listening and singing up above. Thank you for being that rock when my hungry soul was stuck between a rock and a formidable hard place. Thank you for blessing me with wonderful kindred spirits, Ornetta, Rhonda, and Kim. They can never be replaced. Thank you for the birds singing, flowers blooming, butterflies fluttering, and the sun, moon, and stars shining every single day. Thank you for all of the rejections, closed doors, and non-believers. This was all a part of your divine delay. Thank you for sending an angel, Langston, the only one who could orchestrate my songs for this creative endeavor. Thank you for saving and healing my lost and broken soul. I am your instrument whenever, wherever, whatever. Thank you for giving me the wisdom to differentiate between compromise, sacrifice, and pure neglect. Thank you for the understanding that I am still a work in progress, and you are not finished with me yet. Thank you for holding my hand when it seemed I was standing alone while facing life's many steep mountains. Thank you for giving me the desires of my heart and this extra thick skin. If faith is water, Father, I am your fountain. Thank you for this hopelessly romantic heart 
full of so much love and drama. I pray those listening will be blessed. Thank you, Father, if one soul is moved. In Jesus' name, our creative endeavor is a success. 